Hello, Wastelanders. Wanderer here. Welcome back to the sunny Mojave. Hey, I, uh, I can't go in with you. I'll wait here, okay? That's fine. Don't take too long, all right? Okay, so Veronica doesn't want to go in here. I want to have a word. I want to have a bit of a chat with the Brotherhood here because, you know, they kind of tried to kill us. So I want to see what the hell is up with that. Maybe I'll get attacked on sight in here. I don't know. Um, or maybe McNamara will say he had no idea why those paladins attacked me or that he didn't approve it. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe Ramos has something to say about it. Hey. Oh, hey there. Something I can help you with? Nothing here about that attack. I can ask him about the data store uh, entries I found, but I'm not particularly interested in following that quest anymore. Um, I'm getting a lot of stuttering, guys, and it's... You know what? I'm going to try disabling Kasim, I think, because it seems to be whenever I save that it, it stutters like that. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. So if you guys didn't know, there was a uh, Windows update, the Fall Windows Creators Update. It really screwed New Vegas Stutter Remover, and that was kind of a fix that I used to fix multiple stuttering problems, but the biggest one was quick saves making the game stutter, and Kasim quick saves all the goddamn time. So like every door you go through, every time you do anything, you get stutters. And it's super annoying. Um, now right there I didn't get one. I guess we'll see. There have been posts on the uh, NVSR forums. People have talked about fixes and stuff. Honestly, it's kind of random. Sometimes it works proper. Most of the time it does not. I got it working properly last night somehow, and I played for like a good two hours. Um, I have Chasm turned off right now, so I guess we'll see how that works. So yeah, I want to talk to the Elder here and talk to him about that ambush. Me and Veronica getting ambushed last time, if he has anything to say or not. Found the missing patrols, or was something else? Uh, yes, here are their holotapes. I thought I already did this, though. They were all dead then. I suppose I'm not surprised. We have few friends in the world above, and many enemies. But we must turn our minds to other matters. When I sent out those patrols, I also sent three knights out on scouting missions. When the patrols failed to return, we assumed the worst, and sent a single communication to the scouts to hold position and maintain radio silence. I want you to contact those scouts and gather their reports. Like the patrols, they have devices on them that will enable you to track them. When you find them, Tell them you're my representative, and ask them if the bears are still hunting. That should get them to talk to you. Return when you've gathered all of their reports. Okay. I, I guess there was... Let me see. I guess there was a quest to do this. Camp Forlorn Hope, Nipton, and the NCR Correctional Facility. Okay. So we got one out there. I haven't gone out here yet. Okay, anyway, yeah, sure, why not? We can keep doing these quests, I guess, for a while. I, does he say anything about that? The people that tried to kill us? Have you had any luck finding this? Huh. It's like he's got reset somehow. He doesn't say anything about what happened, though. He doesn't seem to care. I wonder if Harden would know anything about it. I'll see if I can find him. What is it, Outsider? Okay, so I can ask him more about this stuff, but no one seems to care about the four or five paladins that attacked, that ambushed me and uh, Veronica. If they're not willing to talk about it, I'm going to take that as they approved of it, or I don't care. It's kind of an oversight that you can't go back here and say something, really, to be honest. Um, Alright, so let me see here. I found the patrols for the Elder, and they had mission discs with orders from McNamara on them. Just as I thought. McNamara gave my men new orders without telling me. The nerve of that man. This little stunt is probably what got them killed in the first place. Our normal patrol routes are known to be relatively safe. This is exactly the kind of thing I'm trying to avoid by ousting McNamara. Okay, and the Elder tasked me with contacting several scouts out in the Waste. That's a sensible notion. Your familiarity with the nearby terrain makes you perfect as a liaison. I've been trying to get the Elder to send out scouts for years, and he's always been resistant to the idea. Said they'd be a vulnerability. I wonder what changed his mind. Why do you dislike McNamara so much? It's not that I dislike the Elder, but I strongly disapprove of his current style of leadership. 
We're safe, yes, but at what cost? What would you do if you became elder? After lifting the lockdown, the first thing I'd do is send scouts out to recon the area. We need to know what's going on out there. Next, I'd resume patrols in the near vicinity and begin sending search teams out to the spots the scouts reported were relatively safe. It's standard procedure when a chapter relocates to an area. But standard procedure wasn't our last elder's style, either. And what do you know about the chain that binds? I could hardly call myself head paladin if I didn't. It's one of the first things every initiate learns when they start training. What about it? One of the few times an elder was dismissed was due to it. I could be wrong, but I think that's a dead end. McNamara has always followed orders, and we've been incommunicado since fleeing Helios. Okay. Never mind. What did you have in mind? All right. Get out of here. Bye. So I'm going to keep doing the quests here if I can, I guess. It's odd that I can do quests, but Veronica is still my companion. She won't go inside, though. But obviously, like, I don't know. I, I don't know, man. I just don't know. The whole thing is weird. So yeah, I'll go ahead and do those quests, though, find those other scouts or whatever. I'm not going to make it a top priority, though. I think the top priority is going to be to go out and uh, get to the strip and make our way inside and see what's there. So guys, by the way, I also got a quest from Sergeant Contreras at the NC or yeah, Kent McCarran, NCR base. Um, he was ready with the chems and told me to go up to Miguel's pawn shop up here, just northwest of the strip. He's, I believe I have um, a first aid quote unquote shipment for them but really it's a bunch of chems that they're gonna sell i went around to all of the various shops and stuff i would have forgotten about that quest to be honest but i went around to all these shops and sold a whole bunch of stuff and bought a whole bunch of stuff so we've got plenty of weapon repair kits we got plenty of mfls in fact i've only got i think about let's see so about 600 of these on me but i have like 2500 stashed back at the NCR safe house. So I have over 3,000 of these cells now. And someone's going to complain, I'm sure, and say, Ah, oh, you're, you're cheating. You're so overpowered. Well, you know, I'm just good at the game, guys. Like, it's not that hard. You get recyclers, you get the vigilant recycling perk, and you just convert all of your... Use up the bulk cells, because you can get lots of bulk cells really easy. Use those up, and then you recycle them into regular cells, and you recycle those, or you don't recycle them. You upgrade those into optimized cells, and boom, you've got really good ammo. Anyway, guys, um, let's go. I'm not going to do these Brotherhood quests right away. I'm going to wait on that. Let's go up to the Strip. I want to go inside. I want to see what's up there. And it's going to be nightfall by the time we get there. Perfect time to go to the Strip at night and check it out. So let's go. Let's see if we can head in here. We should have that pass. Submit to a credit check or present your passport before proceeding to the gate. Trespassers will be shot. Oh, I can just use science, huh? Thank you, sir. You may proceed. Well, that's cool. Didn't know that worked. Hmm. Alright, here we go. Finally here, guys. Finally here. Howdy, partner. You've come for a piece, haven't you? Welcome to New Vegas. Well, uh, thank you there, Vic. Um... What are you doing here? Consider me your personal welcome, White. Now hear this. The head honcho of New Vegas, Mr. House, is itching to make your acquaintance. Just head for the Lucky 38. It's the big old tower shaped like a roulette spinner. Um, okay. Why are you passing me the invitation? Well, now, it was Mr. House that made Securitrons like me. Seems the least I can do is pass on his message. Don't dawdle. He'll be waiting. Going to have words with your commanding officer after this. Why do they call it a monorail? It's a train. A train. What? We're leaving already? Have half a mind to throw you all in a cell and let you sweat it off. Oh, this is great. Come on, come on. <laughs> this is hilarious. Look alive, I swear the guys, monorail you're on NCR was just ahead. Somewhere. <sighs> so fucked up, I can't feel my legs. <laughs> wow, that is a hooker. This is what we need in Frost, guys. Don't give us any trouble. Hey there, friend. A bit of advice. 
You look like you could use some protection. Lucky for you, I got what you need. My stock and trade? All kinds of easy-to-hide weapons for slipping into and out of casinos. They won't give you a second glance. Uh, easy-to-hide weapons, huh? Things guards can't spot when they're patting you down or checking for iron at your hip. Hmm, I can get weapons past the guards, no problem. You might. One fella I knew was able to slip a pistol past the guards. You? I'm guessing you could get a machine gun by them. Why do I need to hide a weapon on me? Simple. You can't bring guns into the casino, that's why. They'll strip you to your fists. Sure, they say you get it all back when you leave. Me? I don't like being without a little insurance when it's my caps on the table. Let's see what you got. Take a look at these beauties. Okay, these all kind of suck. Not gonna worry about that. I got a pressure in me like Hoover Dam. <laughs> this is great, man. Stand tall and walk straight. So there's a Lucky 38. That's where we gotta go and talk to uh, Mr. House right away. Well, howdy, partner. Good to see you again. I see you brought some friends. Sorry, partner, but they're gonna have to stay outside. I'm not gonna attack him. Um, okay, that's fine. Come back soon now. All right, they're gonna stay out here. All right. See if I can use stealth to sneak through here without uh, giving away my weapons. Well, it's kind of dead in here. I did have a mod that was supposed to add more life to the casinos. I might end up reinstalling that. I was worried it might uh, cause problems, but man, this is like all dark and doesn't look like a proper casino to me. It's only 10.30, man. People should be out here getting all crazy and stuff. Wow, there's a bunch of stuff in there. Or how you even get in. Yeah, it's like all dark. It's like they're shut down. Just like there's all this stuff in here and I there's no repercussions. I can just take it. Oh, here we go. So this is where we go up, I guess. In the elevator. Do I have to talk to Victor again? Where to, partner? A penthouse, I guess. Penthouse floor. Um, hi, Jane? Well, hello, sugar. Mr. House is waiting for you in his office. Who are you? I'm Jane, one of Mr. House's girls. We keep him entertained. We don't get many guests lately. Perhaps we can entertain you as well. Um, what can you tell me about New Vegas? Oh, there's lots of things to tell, I'm sure. There's the three families, the casinos, the other attractions. What would you like to know? Tell me about the three families. They're just new money, sugar. They might pretend they're sophisticated, but between you and me, they're not far off from tribals. Their marriages especially are just awful brutes. The chairman and the White Glove Society at least pretend to have some culture. Okay, tell me about the casinos. Well, of course, there used to be a lot more of them. But these days, there are three open to the public. The Tops, the Ultra Lukes, and Gamora. And the Lucky 38, of course. But we're not open to the public. You're a special case, sugar. Okay, that explains why there's, like, nobody here. I thought it was very odd. Uh, tell me about the other attractions. Well, let's see. The NCR has an embassy here, but why you'd want to go talk to a bunch of boring old politicians, I surely don't know. Oh, and the Vault 21 Hotel and Gift Shop has an adorable collection of old Vault Tech memorabilia. And I suppose, if you like neon signs, you might check out Michelangelo's sign shop. Anything you like, sugar? What's with the snow globe collection? Not many people know this, but Mr. House is one of the world's biggest collectors of antique snow globes. If you happen to find any out in the wasteland, you can bring them to me, and I'll add them to his collection. You'll get a reward, of course. In fact, one of Mr. House's favorites went missing when we moved the collection. If you have a look around the Lucky 38, you might even find it. Okay. 
I've got some snow globes for the collection. You do? Why, that's just wonderful. I'll take them and put them with the rest of the collection. Awesome, so I guess I think I had two, so 2,000 each, huh? Pretty good. Uh, what can you tell me about Mr. House? Why, Sugar, he's the maximum utmost. If it weren't for Mr. House, we wouldn't have this fabulous wonderland of New Vegas, would we? I didn't realize robots could have such strong feelings about people. Sugar, I may be a robot on the outside, but on the inside, my neurocomputational matrix is an exact copy of Mr. House's favorite girl. So you're a copy of a dead woman? What exactly do you do for Mr. House? Mr. House has a lot of needs, Sugar. I take care of all of them, and a lady doesn't kiss and tell. Okay, I really don't want to think about that. Then maybe you shouldn't pry into a lady's particulars, hmm? Sounds like you're pretty fond of him. Well, of course I am, silly. Mr. House is just the smartest, most wonderful man there ever was. Why, did you know he single-handedly reclaimed New Vegas from all those nasty tribes that used to live here? Well, he single-handedly sent in his Securitrons to do it, but that counts in my book. Okay, let's talk about something else. Anything you like, sugar. What is this place? This is the Lucky 38 Resort and Casino, or it used to be. Mr. House has kept the place locked up tight for ages now. Nobody comes in or out. And what kind of robot are you? Why, I'm a Robco PDQ-88B Mark I Securitron, you silly goose. We're the finest in personal civil robotic security on the market. Okay, thank you, Jane. Goodbye. I know where I'm supposed to go. It's the guy on the screen over there, I'm sure. But you guys know me, I'm gonna look around a little bit first. It's a very nice place in here, but the only people I see are the robots. All right, let's talk to Mr. House. This meeting has been a long time coming, hasn't it? You've come a long ways, literally, and I suspect figuratively as well. I have to ask, now that you've reached your destination, what do you make of what you see? A say devoted device and sin, what's not to love? Um, what the hell are you? A crude question, crudely asked. I'll be happy to satisfy your rambunctious curiosity at a more appropriate moment. But now, I'll repeat my question. What do you make of what you've seen? A say devoted device and sin, what's not to love? Oh, come now, don't play the fool. Vegas has fools enough, a superfluity of them. They're what makes it so profitable. They come to Vegas chasing penny ante dreams of high living, to feel like they're big shots, like they're winners. You see that you and I are of a different stripe, don't you? We don't have to dream that we're important. We are. Why the VIP treatment, I'm just a courier? Oh, don't be coy. You've been playing a high stakes game ever since Victor dug you out of the ground. Don't be afraid to admit it. Let's get down to business then. The business is this. One of my employees has stolen an item of extraordinary value from me. And I want it recovered. Simple enough. I'd like to ask some questions. What did you wish to know? What terms are you offering? My only concern is the recovery of the platinum chip. What happens to Benny, I leave to your discretion. When you bring the chip to me, I will pay you four times the delivery bonus stipulated in your contract. How's that? Uh, I accept. Well enough. Return to me when you have the platinum chip in your possession. Any final matters for us to discuss? Yes, more questions. What else did you want to know? Tell me about Benny. Benny has led the chairman ever since I recruited his tribe seven years ago. Until his recent misbehavior, I planned to make him my protege. Maybe if I'd begun grooming him sooner, none of this would have happened. What use would you have for a protege? To achieve my aims, I require a capable human agent to perform certain... tasks. I knew Benny was ambitious, even ruthless. 
But I believed he would do the job so long as he was incentivized appropriately. Obviously, I miscalculated his drive for supremacy. But in any case, you've come along. A more than suitable replacement. You want me to be your protege? That's what you're saying? Uh, why did Benny betray you? I have to think that he found out about the platinum chip and mistakenly convinced himself that he could use it to his own ends. One of the problems of a tribal workforce, I'm afraid. No intuitive understanding of how complex technologies can be. Why didn't you intervene sooner when Benny ambushed me? Why didn't Victor intervene sooner, you mean? Good Springs is a bit too far away for me to reliably control a Securitron agent by remote. I can send and receive packets of data at best. Victor's combat algorithms determined the proper course of action. Benny and his thugs were more than a match for a lone Securitron. When he alerted me, I instructed him to approach the site after Benny and the others had departed. Okay, let's talk about something else. What else did you want to know? What is the Platinum Chip? It's a very special item. There's nothing else like it in the entire world. It was lost a long time and difficult to find. That's all you need to know about it for this stage of our enterprise. Fulfill your contract, deliver the chip, and good things will come your way. The more I know about the chip, the easier I can find it. You might keep an eye out for any computers that Benny's been using. Maybe even a computer lab of some sort. If the chip's so valuable, why'd you use a single courier to transport it? You realize you were just one of many couriers. The rest of them... dummies, so to speak. Add to that many thousands of caps worth of mercenary protection to screen your avenue of approach. Had I used an armed caravan to transport the chip, I might as well have been announcing to the world, This is important! Attack this! I didn't want to attract the attention of groups like the Great Khans or the Brotherhood of Steel. Alas, the real threat was closer to home. Why don't you just send your robots into the tops to arrest Benny? Frontal assaults on casinos? Not good for business. In any case, Benny would see it coming, and all he'd have to do is hold the chip up and point a pistol at it. Our foremost advantage is that Benny doesn't know that I know he has the chip. Let's not squander it. Mr. House, I have a right to know more. That's simply not true. I am the only person to hold any rights pertaining to the chip. I designed it, and I paid for it, dearly. To develop that chip, I spent a sum of U.S. dollars, not the bottle caps that pass as currency these days, but a sum beyond counting. For decades I paid salvagers to comb the ruins for it, and when it was finally discovered, tens of thousands of caps spent to have it brought here. We know how that turned out. Complete your contract, and it will be the last time I pay for the chip. Save your questions for then. What else did you want to know? Tell me about the factions vying for New Vegas. It's understandable that you'd be curious about this topic, but we'll hold off until the platinum chip has been recovered. What else did you want to know? How do I get to Benny? It won't be easy. Benny is always surrounded by at least four bodyguards, except when he's in his private suite on the 13th floor of the tops. The chairman are your employees, don't they take your orders? It's more complicated than that. The chairman share what you might call a tribal affinity. Look for a man named Swank, Benny's second in command. He's always been a reliable, if unimaginative, employee. Do your best to convince him that you're working under my auspices. If you have evidence of Benny's crimes, show it to him. Why can't you be the one to tell Swank? By contract, Securitrons are to enter the casinos only when invited by the three families or if other extraordinary circumstances arise. The moment I send one into the tops, Benny will know I'm on to him. Say I want to take a diplomatic approach. 
If you were to approach Benny in public, you might be able to leverage his fear of exposure to make him agree to meet with you in private. Any ideas on how I could catch him off guard? Sneaking into Benny's suite on the 13th floor would be very difficult, but not impossible. There might be guards. Certainly there'd be a sturdy lock on his front door. Okay, let's talk about something else. What else did you want to know? Who are you exactly, Mr. House? I am Robert Edwin House, President, CEO, and sole proprietor of the New Vegas Strip. I oversaw the city's renovations starting from 2274 onward. The three families are my employees. Before the Great War of 2077, I was the founder, president, and CEO of Robco Industries, a vast computer and robotics corporation. How did you establish New Vegas? We can discuss this in greater detail at another time. Suffice it to say that when my Securitrons detected NCR scouts at Hoover Dam, I took action. I recruited a tribal force to supplement my Securitrons and renovated the Strip just in time to welcome the NCR as it marched into the region. Instead of war, a treaty was negotiated and the money started to pour in. Interesting, so he set this up specifically because the NCR was going to take over Hoover Dam and he wanted to control the Strip. He knew it would be a strategic location, so he set it up just before the NCR got here. Um, you, compare, you appear to be a computer, not a man. Don't let the video screens and computer terminals fool you. I'm flesh and blood, not silicon. The lifespan you're claiming is impossible except for ghouls and super mutants. I see you've made a study of the topic. My knowledge of the science of longevity would fill several textbooks. Perhaps, after a decade or two of economic reconstruction, I can commercialize these technologies and offer them to others, such as yourself. How have you stayed alive all this time? Let's just say it was very... costly. But I was willing to make the sacrifices longevity entailed, financial and otherwise. Okay, let's talk about something else. What else did you want to know? All right, Mr. House, I'll be back whenever I have the chip and have confronted Benny. Well enough. Be on your way. Well, that was quite an interesting conversation we just had. Um, so we're going to go and finally talk to Benny. More robots here. These aren't actually robots, they're just like statues, like collections, collector's items. Congratulations, partner. The boss has instructed me to comp you to the High Roller Suite. You can bring your friends, too. Be like a little clubhouse for the gang you put together. Just bear in mind, you're the only one gets to see the boss. Any friends you got, they can wait in the suite. Enjoy the digs, partner. They're plenty fancy. Nice. So I can go to the uh, presidential suite. That's where I my new home is, I guess? Sweet. What's the terminal here do? Oh, upgrade suite? Oh, I can buy stuff here, huh? It's got a workbench? Wow! Oh, this is cool as hell! So I've got multiple homes here for all of my companions. Oh, this is so cool. So like I can put Ver like Veronica in one, I can put... Um, well, if I had Cass, I could put her in one, but not anymore, because Cass decided to leave. I could put uh, Boone in one, etc. What do we got here? It says position. Oh, everything fell off. Okay. Very nice. Got a sink with no rads. An actual, well, I wouldn't want to lay down in there, but I guess it's not too bad for taking a shower. Multiple toilets, actually. Many toilets. The room of many toilets and uh, baths. Okay. And uh, this one, I assume, would be the master suite. This is mine, I assume. Ooh. 
wonder if I can repair my authority glasses with those uh, eyeglasses. Okay, well, this is pretty damn cool. I gotta say, Mr. House is uh, quite the generous benefactor, much more so compared to um, you know anyone else that I've run into so far. Everyone else has done nothing but pretty much reject us. I mean, even the NCR was not really willing to help us much. Had to do a whole bunch of crap for him before they did anything for us. Mr. House uh, wants to help us get revenge on the man that tried to kill us and stole our item that we were carrying, so seems like an okay guy to me. Just wondering when the catch will be, wondering what the what will happen that we'll have to do for him that we won't want to do. There's always a catch. Someone's always got their own ideas in mind of uh, uh, plans and schemes they're trying to hatch, so... So if I want to go back down, I have to talk to Victor, huh? Where to, partner? Um, let's go... Cocktail Lounge. There's Casino, there's Cocktail Lounge. I think the Cocktail Lounge is up top. No. I haven't been to Cocktail Lounge yet. Let's see what that is. what that goes to. This is a different area here, too. Yeah, man, bring some companions in here, and uh, bring some friends, and hell, it'd be a nice, lively place. Be a fun place to be. Just feels so odd and desolate with the, the music and all that stuff, and the fact that there's nobody here but all these things. It just feels abandoned and strange. I don't know. Alright, let's go um, down to the casino, I suppose. Well, at least that mystery is solved. Uh, let's go out and pick up our companions once again. Hey, you there. I have a message for you. It's from Ambassador Crocker. Very important. Here you go. Okay, Ambassador Crocker's note. Let us see what that says here. I wish to speak with you immediately in regards to important matters. I trust you have learned enough in your travels to know that the New California Republic is an honorable nation engaged in a beneficent mission in the Mojave in general and New Vegas in particular. It is, in addition, a wealthy nation that well rewards persons who dedicate themselves to its national interests, whether for reasons patriotic or material. Allow me to reassure you that if you have committed any crimes or misdemeanors against the Republic, it is in my power to pardon misconduct of this sort. I stand ready to receive you at your earliest convenience in my offices at the New California Republic Embassy at the south side of the Vega Strip. God bless the New California Republic. Dennis Crocker, Ambassador Extraordinary and Plenipotentiary. Department of State, New California Republic. Well, that guy's got a high opinion of himself, doesn't he? Alright, uh, follow me, guys. That one must be important around here. You're damn right I'm important. Check that out, he just left the Lucky 38. Damn, and he looks good to me, too. The NCR is fortunate to have your support. I like how the hooker is just back there dancing <laughs> while all this stuff is going on. So here's the Gamora. Oh, it just looks so cool, guys. It just looks so cool. Enjoy your time in Vegas. All right, gals and gents. Well, I know we just got here, but uh, it is about that time that we uh, end the episode. So next episode, we're going to explore the Gamora and that check out other work. areas as well. I'm sure it's going to take me life. quite a while to explore the strip fully and see all that it has to offer, especially with me being, you know, so slow and, and trying to find out absolutely everything that there is to see here. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I will see you next time.